Hi, good morning and welcome to today's webinar. There's a lot of stuff to cover today, so I hope you've got your ears pinned back. My name's Mark Prosser. I'm an independent personal financial advisor. I'm a chartered accountant and I absolutely love network marketing. If you've been invited to watch this webinar by one of my colleagues at ISN, do listen really, really carefully. I hope you get some value from the webinar. And most importantly, having watched it, you must get back to the person who thought enough of you to invite you to come along and see what we're doing with ISN. This is an incredibly powerful opportunity that's changing people's lives. And I hope that this webinar at least gives you a taste of what we're doing and why we're doing it. When we get started on a new project, it's really, really important that we have a plan of action, if you like. For most of us, MLM, network marketing, is probably pretty new to us. And one of the best mentors out there is a gentleman by the name of Eric Warre. And most people who've been successful in this environment use Eric as a mentor. He promotes his videos. He publishes videos online every single day in real terms. And, and it makes so much sense when people have generated million dollar incomes to plug into the lessons, the advice, the mentorship and the guidance that they can provide. There are no secrets, you know, to success. It's all open book. You just need to pick up on some stuff. Now, Whatever business we decide that we want to get involved in, and, and, and for the majority of us, I'm sure we've always aspired to be in control of our own destiny. Whatever business we decide to invest some time in, it does make sense to become good at it. You know, even if we're a painter and a decorator, then it's best to learn how to do an extremely good job because that way we're going to be successful. Similarly, in network marketing, it makes sense to master the skills that will empower us to create six-figure incomes. The other thing we need to deal with is our own inner self. It's so often that we shoot ourselves in the foot. We hold ourselves back. And it's all about negative programming. It's all about the fact that throughout the whole of our lives, people tell us to keep our feet on the ground, not to pipe dream to get out there and, and get a proper job. And I just wonder sometimes, is that good advice or should we actually seek to break out of those restrictive straitjackets that society seems to impose on us? But that's a question you can answer for yourself. With regard to multi-level marketing, it's really important that you understand the level of success that is being achieved by people involved in this industry. These are ordinary people, different shapes, different sizes, but all ordinary people who got started, made a decision they were going to excel and went to work. You'll notice if you study any of these people, they have become experts. They've read the right books. They've watched the right videos. They've listened to the right audio content and they have mastered the skills. And, and sort of all of us have to do that. You can't expect to generate a, a six-figure income with a four-figure set of skills. And multi-level marketing per se has created more millionaires on planet Earth right now in the year 2014 than any other industry ever. And remember, this is not taught at schools. This is not taught at colleges. This is all about people who are self-taught. They've made the decision that they want to achieve at the highest level, and they've gone out and sought the tools. And they have all started with a blank piece of paper. This is absolutely fundamental, you know. It's this piece of paper that completely changes the outcome of people's lives. So long as we continue to wish and hope that things might get better, typically they don't. It's only when we actually write down what we truly want to have, can we ever truly attain what might today seem unattainable. And it's all about the power of the human mind. It's all about 
these peculiar circumstances that I guess you've experienced, just as I have, of knowing that you have to be up at three o'clock in the morning to get a flight to go on your holiday. And you set the alarm for three o'clock in the morning. The reality is you never oversleep the three o'clock in the morning alarm call. You're awake before because you've programmed your mind. You've programmed your subconscious. You've told it 100%. You cannot miss that plane. So there's nothing going to stop you waking up in time. It's amazing the power of the human brain. It's amazing how we can achieve so much more than we actually realize. We don't realize quite how much our subconscious is doing for us. It's keeping us alive. It's, it's got our blood flowing. It breathes. It, it does everything. Our body just works on autopilot. And it's really strange, you know, when you, I remember when I was learning to drive a car, it seemed incredibly complicated. I thought I'd never, ever master it. But gradually, I acquired the skills. And now, having driven for 40, 50 years, which is aging me a little bit, but that's the way it is, I often get home after an hour's drive, and I can't even remember the journey. I've driven home on autopilot. The subconscious took over. And that's all because I told my brain I didn't want to crash. I told my brain I wanted to get home safely. I put that into my brain with such powerful conviction that nothing was going to stop me. And it's the same in life, you know. We can have anything we want to have so long as we want it with a burning desire, a red hot passion. Nothing will stop us ever achieving anything we've got a burning desire to achieve. It's just the way it is. Now, there's a few, I'm going to cover some of the myths. I'm going to cover some of the, the things that impose on all of our lives and hold us back. And one of the myths which I'll cover is this ridiculous nonsense that says that we always have to exchange an hour for, for a wage, a week for a wage, a month for a salary, a year of our work for a year of income. If we do that, inevitably, if we run out of weeks, if we run out of years, then our income dries up. And what you find in life is that the incredibly successful people in the world have learned to disassociate what they do with their time with what they do for their money. And the best analogy I, I could ever give you is the farmer, that the farmer probably invests hundreds of thousands of pounds in acre after acre of land and has no revenue stream on day one. But he goes to work. He has to go and buy some seeds. He makes another investment. He has to put a load of work in to sow those seeds. He then spends months and months and months through the growing season, tending his fields, praying for rain and praying for sunshine. And if he is fortunate and all of the bits of the jigsaw have come together at the end of the growing season, he can reap his harvest, go to market and put some money in the bank. And sort of that's what we have to do. He wasn't looking for a wage. He put the work in at the front end with the passionate belief that at the end of the growing season, he would get his reward. And it's much like that in network marketing, that we have to put some work in at the front end. We have to acquire some skills. We have to uh, acquire the ability to communicate. We need to understand about the market in which we operate. And we need to be able to take what we've discovered out to the market and share it with other people. Now, we have a unique company with ISN because with ISN, the International Silver Network, we, we, we have a company with an incredible compensation program that effectively teaches us how to start to accumulate wealth on autopilot. And we should all be doing this anyway. I think people are disinclined at the moment to to save money for a rainy day because they're sort of aware that if you save a hundred pounds paper money and inflation's running at three percent or five percent then ten years down the line your hundred pounds is going to lose thirty to fifty percent of its value and people know that annuity rates are terrible and that in real terms to get any sort of decent pension these days is virtually impossible for the ordinary man. But in silver and gold, we know that we have commodities that has been the chosen store of wealth for emperors and kings since the time of Solomon. And we need to pick up and learn from that. You only need to study online. Go to goldsilver.com, study Mike Maloney, 
uh, study Robert T. Kiyosaki. Study any of the mega wealthy people in the world, and you'll find that they are telling us all that we should be accumulating assets in the form of precious metals, silver and gold, and silver specifically, because there is a, a disconnect, if you like, between the relationship or relative values of silver and gold, which means that silver has to fly through the roof at some point once it's released in the free market. And that's going to happen as people start more and more to realize that paper currencies, with all the extra dollars and euros that are being printed literally every single week, every month, every year at the moment, is diluting the value of the paper in our pockets. And when you see that the banks are starting to hoard gold and silver, and that nations are starting to hoard gold and silver, and when you realize that there's less silver on earth than there is gold, and that silver is being consumed because it's an industrial metal, you'll start to twig why the demand for silver is absolutely going through the roof to the point where last year the US mint actually ran out of silver. And why everywhere you look now, people are telling us that silver could go up to $200 an ounce and beyond. Mike Maloney is telling people right now that he believes that gold will go to $15,000 an ounce. But he is saying categorically, however, that notwithstanding that huge growth curve on gold, he would recommend investing in silver because the growth potential of silver is massive compared with gold. Now, we know this stuff. Now, whether or not you're involved in network marketing, whether or not you want to create a home business, let me tell you, this information is invaluable. You need to act upon it and not just ignore it. The burden of discipline weighs ounces. It might seem hard to save £100, $100 a month, but let me tell you, 20 years from now, you will thank yourself that you had the discipline to do it because not having done it, the burden of regret retrospectively weighs tons. You'll kick yourself. Now, in terms of network marketing, don't just listen to me. There are people out there who will tell you categorically that the right place for ordinary people to be is network marketing. It is such a clever business model. It's accessible in the mass market. ISN involves an investment of 200 British pounds. It's actually less than 200 pounds. It's about 240 US dollars. And the reality is you cannot start any viable business on planet Earth that's got a six-figure income in real terms other than network marketing for an investment, really, of the price of a family night out. And that's the absolute reality. Our running costs monthly are minimal. We all make an auto ship of about £100 per month. And that actually acquires for us silver, is tax deductible and effectively funded by HM Revenue and Customs or the IRS in America. Donald Trump, as well as Bill Gates, is advocating network marketing. Robert T. Kiyosaki advocates network marketing as the business of the 21st century. So don't listen to me. Do your due diligence. Read, go online, study, understand the power of network marketing, understand the incredible power of aligning network marketing with solid silver and solid gold, and you'll understand why ISN is so right on the launch pad today to allow people to move from the left-hand side of this grid, employee mentality, into business owner mentality. Zero risk, because we're acquiring silver. And let me tell you, what we're investing into our business, because we're also receiving silver in the process, with what's going to happen to silver prices, anybody involved in ISN, who, to be frank, does nothing over the next 10 years, other than just exchange paper for silver, will be financially better off. It is totally win-win. The risk to reward ratio is totally in our favor. And it really doesn't take an awful lot 
to understand why we should be looking at something which fundamentally can change the outcome of our lives. There's stuff out there upon which we are being misled. We all work really hard. I, I don't meet many people who haven't at some stage in their lives experienced that feeling of disillusionment in the workplace, of working far too hard for far too little for far too long. Getting fed up of feeling fed up. Getting fed up of having more month than money. Getting fed up of perhaps driving the car they can afford rather than the car they'd really like to have. That feeling in the workplace of someone getting promoted ahead of you because that person's face fits better with your boss than yours does. All of these things impact on us. And what we tend to do is we learn because we're desperate for the fix of the monthly wage. We learn just to tolerate it. We learn just to accept it. We're not happy about it. We're living in real terms, lives of quiet disillusionment. We're accepting mediocrity as the norm. We are unhappy, but we just sort of accept it. Now, if we stay accepting it, nothing is going to get better. We have to make a decision to make a change. And that's why we have to write those goals down. Remember that little list? You know, I am sick and fed up of being sick and fed up. What am I going to do about it? What would I like my life to look like in five years or 10 years from now? Let's get it written down on paper. Let's develop the plan. Then let's go to work. And in network marketing, we go to work as a team. The team will help you. The team will mentor you. The team will be there for you when you have that, that down moment and it will lift you back up. And that's the power of the support system in network marketing. But against this backcloth of feeling underpaid, isn't it incredible how we go and spend our hard-earned cash? And those of you who, like me, have brought children up, the amount we spend on kids' clothes, it's incredible. And the one that always sticks in my mind is those trainers, because kids always want the fancy trainers. They see them on telly, their pals have got them. And even these tiny little trainers for children, 50, 60 pounds. And they outgrow them in six months' time. And when you read that they actually cost less than $2 American dollars to manufacture, it doesn't half beg some questions. Why do we keep doing it where we keep earning our money? We never feel as if we have enough of it. But the moment we get it, we accept the traditional approach of going and giving that to the shopkeeper, giving that to the restaurant proprietor, giving that to the tradesman knowing that somewhere along the line is making mega profit out of our hard work. Now, it doesn't need to be that way. Network marketing cuts out all of that middleman chain and allows us for the very first time to actually share in all of that marketing budget in the middle, which is traditionally paid out to the mega wealthy. It's always the mega pop stars who get paid billions for the branding adverts. But we take that all out of the equation in network marketing and we start to get rewarded for word of mouth recommendation, if you like, which is something we've always done, but we've never previously been paid for. Now, the beauty of multi-level marketing allied to solid silver with ISN is in real terms, all we're doing is we're sharing probably the best idea that I personally have ever come across. As a financial advisor, for me to advise somebody to put a monthly savings account with a traditional uh, finance house in the knowledge they will get levied substantial charges and probably the first two or three years of their subscriptions will be worth zero to them because that will all be eliminated by admin charges and commission payments to the person who's selling the product. That's the way it works. I know how many people are disillusioned 20, 30, 40 years down the line when they are actually told that their, their pension or annuity expectations were 30,000 a year and now they're only going to receive 6,000. Now, that isn't going to happen in this environment because I know categorically that people who are investing in silver and gold will be the winners. So being able to share something that is fundamentally ethical, is financially the right thing to be able to advise people to do, for me, is such a wonderful opportunity. And if we can actually each of us get paid 
for just recommending something that's an exciting hobby that makes financial great common sense, then we are all winners and everyone we associate with are winners too. Bear in mind out there, you and I are all living with this economic meltdown. And let me tell you, it is a meltdown. Since 1971, when Richard Nixon took the American dollar off the gold standard, in real terms, that's when everything started to go wrong. When you understand things like the fact that the British pound, once upon a time, was worth a pound of sterling silver. That's why it's called the pound sterling. And today, you would need 250 British pounds to buy a pound of sterling silver, which tells you that since we introduced the pound in this country, it's lost 99.6% of its value. It's now worth less than half of 1% of its original value at inception. And this happens to all paper currencies. And unfortunately, what's happened out there is people, the bankers, the mega wealthy have got really, really clever because they're creating through the click of a button what I think of as funny money. It doesn't exist. They create a loan at the press of a button. This is why. And just do go on to Google and Google fractional reserve banking and go to Wikipedia. That's where I got this picture. And I tell you, when I studied fractional reserve banking, I was absolutely shocked. And I'm a chartered accountant. And no one had ever taught me how we were being totally manipulated and how bankers, and we've seen it announced in the press this week, can draw these huge bonuses at our expense because they are managing an illusion which only continues to work so long as we believe their promises. Now, I think people are starting to disbelieve their promises, which is why you need to be in silver, you need to be in gold, because once the truth is out and the whole of the globe is starting to move into silver and gold, if you are not positioned with a huge store of it, as the price starts to go through the roof, you will look back with regret. So don't do that. This concept of working for a living, relating our time to our money is fundamentally flawed. It cannot make sense to spend 20 years of our life studying, to spend another 50 years of our life working for less than we believe we are worth, to then retire on an income probably less than we had on the day when we started work. That is not allowing us later on in life to reap any sort of harvest for an investment, a lifetime investment in the workplace. That is going to leave the majority of the people looking back and thinking, my golly, I wish I'd done things differently. And I think if I was here on a webinar trying to suggest to people that this traditional 50-year game plan was the right game plan, you would be laughing at me. But people do it blindly. It's called consensus thinking. People don't think for themselves, unfortunately. And as a consequence, they just drop off that cliff. And for many people, that drop off doesn't come when they retire. They are forcibly retired much earlier on through redundancy or business downsizing, or business failure. And let me tell you, that is a massive negative impact on the lives of human beings. It really doesn't make sense to have all our eggs in one basket. And again, that's where network marketing is so powerful, because it allows us in our leisure time, our spare time, those hours during the course of the week that so many people just waste in real terms in front of the television, we can turn our time into money. But we need to learn a little bit of stuff. If we aspire to be six-figure earners, if we aspire to become wealthy, then we sort of need to think a little bit more like the wealthy. And remember, the great thing about the incredibly successful people on planet Earth is they do tend to write down their life stories. They like to write down what they learn and they like to share it with us. Now, I am constantly learning. I'm very aware of the, of the fact at the moment in ISN, we are a baby business. 
there's very few of us. And that's great in many ways because we're ahead of the game. We're right on the forefront of what's going to be a huge wave of explosive growth. But let me tell you, it means that we have to build the infrastructure. And I'm actively doing that because for me to be a leader, then I need to be helping everybody that comes into my environment. I need to be developing my skills. I need to be getting better and better every day in every way, getting better and better and better, because that's the way. If each of us aspires to achieve at the highest level, then the people that we're mentoring, we're guiding, we're going to make it easier for them. And let me tell you, a year from now, two years from now, people will find it a lot easier than we are because we'll, we'll have gone out there as the pathfinders. We'll have set up the systems. We'll have developed the infrastructure. We'll have developed the webinars. We'll have developed the training videos. We'll have developed all of the tools that will allow the next generation to have it a lot easier, perhaps, than we have. But right now, what we have to do, this was the first book right in the middle that I ever read on multi-level marketing. It was called Being the Best You Can Be in MLM. And it was just a great title. I thought to myself, I've come into the industry. Therefore, it makes sense. I need to learn something about the business. And I was lucky enough to attend a conference. I saw John Kalench speak, incredibly professional. What a lovely man. Died too young. He died before he was 50, unfortunately. But what a great book and what a great legacy. And honestly, if you can find a copy, which you can, because I've just checked on Google, you can get it on one of the online shops. I would recommend anybody reads that. And, and in the context of ISN, Automatic Millionaire by David Back is a much must read. And for everybody, to be frank, it should be compulsory reading for people leaving school. And it should be George S. Classen, the richest man in Babylon, understanding the necessity at the very commencement of the years of generating some income of the absolutely prerequisite requirement to start tithing ourselves, to pay ourselves first, to lock some money away. I tell you, combine the wisdom of those three books and you will become the most dynamic mentor and leader that there will ever be in this industry, this wonderful industry called multi-level marketing. And you too will have your photo of those top million dollar earnings all around the internet. But the key here is you have to beg a question. Who would the person be that you would most like to have sponsored into your team? And then why? What is it about that person that makes you want them in your team? And here becomes the challenge, because then you have to become that person. Remember, like attracts like. It's just the way it is. And if you are hugely dynamic, you are extremely knowledgeable, you understand all aspects of multi-level marketing, you know the systems, you know about silver, you know about gold, you can communicate. Can I tell you that's so powerful? Because when two people meet and communicate, they come to that communication with belief systems. And if someone comes to that table of communication with a negative belief system that is stronger than your positive belief system, they're going to win in the communication process. Because our belief is not big enough. So we have to absolutely become rock solid. We need to have steel girders right through our spine that tells us, that's taught us, that, that, that's become part of our psyche, our knowledge of how powerful network marketing can be and how aligning it with the collection of solid silver and gold within ISN will totally change the lives of everyone that we interact with. We need to become that role model. And so I suppose just like life, we, and we forget a lot of this stuff, you know. We forget that we were born winners. There was no one born a failure. Failure happens later. We think ourselves into failure. Nothing was ever going to stop us learning to speak. And isn't it incredible in those early years that every one of us learnt a completely new language from scratch? We all did that. 
And yet if you decided you wanted to learn a new language today, that would impose a challenge upon you. You would have to be patient. Learning to walk traditionally took us 18 months. Then going through the process of education, schooling, all the rest of it. All of these years of investment got us to a certain place. So if we want to get to a six-figure income, then we need to realize that we're going to have to put three, six months, nine months, 12 months of re-education into our game plan on building our, our list of goals. Remember, 2014 goals should always be in three sections. Right at the top should be our why goals. Now, this is the why. Why should we do some work? Why should we read some books? Why should we study? Well, why? Because let me tell you, the air is better when you are financially free. The air is better when you do drive the car of your dreams. The air is better at the top of the mountain. That's the reason why. The reason why is achieving what you were supposed to achieve. The reason why is having pride. The reason why is leaving a legacy. The reason why is being an example to those around you. The reason why could just be to, to deal with the negative idiots, the cynics who are constantly telling you it'll never work and proving them wrong. That is a massively powerful motivator. But what are your why goals? What are your why goals? Now, to have the why, you need some what. So your what goals are your money goals. Yeah, what do you need to live the why? Does $10,000 a month make a difference? Does £500 a month make a difference? Let me tell you, £500 a month, £6,000 a year makes a huge difference to most families. It's the difference between having a holiday and not having a holiday. It's the difference between the kids getting the very best you can give them and or getting second best what everyone else is getting. These are realities. So what is it that you need to have around you to live the why? And then there, you have to have a next group of goals, which is the how goals. How do you create the what to allow you to live the why? And how do you do that? Well, you do that and your how goals have to be read being the best you can be in multi-level marketing. That's a good how goal. Read. Uh, George Classen, read it, The Richest Man in Babylon. That's good. That's a how goal. Read The Automatic Millionaire, David Back. That's a how goal. Study the skills because once you've mastered the how that enables you to create the what, then you will automatically start to live the why. You just need to be patient. Wouldn't it be lovely to have known the stuff we know back in 1986? Wouldn't it have been fantastic if we'd been buying one MS-70 since 1986? One MS-70, American Silver Eagle, would, be, would have cost us right now about $27,000, and we'd be sat on coins worth $650,000. 2020 vision, hindsight. Well, we can have hindsight, but we've got to start now, because the hindsight we'll have 15 years from now, 20 years from now, is we'll look back and people will be saying 20 years from now, oh, if only, if only I'd started collecting one silver eagle a month. Well, we did because we're doing it. And those people will be thinking, oh, it's too late to get started. It's never too late to get started. The key is to get started. It's to get away from apathy, uh, to get active and start getting busy. Now, someone raised the question the other day, oh, how does one create a $10,000 income in ISN? And of course, being me, I got my spreadsheet out again. And I just did a very simple calculation that I need a group volume of around about $250,000, which means I need to teach and train around 20 people to the level of gold director in ISN. Well, I'm a gold director, so I've done it. So realistically, I should be able to teach somebody else how to do it. 
in my lifetime, if I train up two or three people, help them to train up two or three people, remember, welcome to the 39 steps, 3927, at the third level, teaching the teacher to teach the teacher to teach, that's my 20 gold directors, and that's my $10,000. So how simple is that? It's breaking down what seems to be a big task into a series of manageable steps. Now, I'm in the privileged situation that I already have met some incredible people. I am not going to mention names because if I do, I'll forget somebody. And if I forget somebody, I'll be hurting somebody's feelings. But within our organization already, I know I already have at least 20 gold directors in training. Our job together now, and my role with you guys, is to help you find your two or three potential gold directors, teach them to work the 39 steps, so that we take everybody through this process of 3927 as we start rolling out then into the next couple of generations. We're then into already that $10,000 a month income, we've got a whole ruck of people driving company Mercedes, and we have laid the foundations that will create a legacy the like of which the majority of people might aspire to achieve but never act upon. But within the group of people with whom I am working today, I know I'm working with the walkers, not just the talkers. There's these different groups of people out there. There's the spectators, remember, who just watch everybody and like to comment. And there's that group of people who'll always tell you, and I think of them as the failures in life, who everything that's worth doing, they try and knock it. And they actually try and destructively drag people down. Well, I think the spectators better than that. I absolutely hate the failures who want to drag other people down to their level of abject misery. And on the other hand, there's the successful people, the action takers, the people who see the big picture, who, who, who embrace it, who read the books, who take control of their own destinies, make the decisions, act on the decisions and start to grow something phenomenally special for themselves. They understand the numbers that building a huge organization in network marketing, believe it or not, is not about direct sales. It's about sifting and sorting through the numbers. Remember, if you want to find a diamond, you will dig through many tons of earth and rubble. And you might on occasions think it's just not worth it. But remember, it is worth it because within every average number of tons of earth and rubble, there's always a diamond out there somewhere. And we're only looking for two or three. Three, nine, 27, you're immediately into your six-figure income. You're empowering, empowering the next generation of network marketers. You're in an incredible, powerful, and privileged position. But you have to do the basics. You have to re-educate, and you have to take action. A good rule is let's endeavor to just communicate with five people a day. Five people a day, five days a week is 100 people over the course of a month. If 90% of them are brain dead and will not listen, then there's at least 10. Might, we might just be able to get them to take a closer look and maybe get them doing the basics of just starting to exchange some paper for some solid silver. And if we achieve that, fantastic. That's going to make a huge difference to their lives. And if just 10% of that group of people, just one on a monthly basis, sees the big picture and wants to come and work with us and build ISN networks, then you can see how quickly this business can start to grow. Now, if anyone is sat on a business right now that's not growing, I know that if I asked you to just write down on a Monday to Friday, how many people did you speak to? Just a small box. I just want a number in there. A lot of you would just write zero, 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 zero. Now, if you write down zero, 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 I'm sorry, your business is not growing because you're not doing the things you get paid for. So the process is simple. 
communicate with five people a day and share your ISN opportunity. Disassociate yourself from the outcome. If five people reject your opportunity today, fantastic. If five people reject your opportunity tomorrow, fantastic. You've just got rid of 10 of the no's. That's getting you closer and closer every time to the next yes. It's the law of averages. You saw it. I saw it. Many other people are seeing this. Our job is just to get out and share the opportunity and just find the ones who see it. Don't try and convince anybody. No one had to convince me. I saw it. I acted. I took it seriously. If someone had tried to sell it to me, I could well have reacted negatively because none of us like to be sold to. Just share the opportunity. Share it with knowledge. Share it with conviction. Become a credible leader. Remember, because in developing your own credibility, you'll negate your own fear. When you become expert at playing the guitar, the guitar will not phase you. When you become expert at repairing a motor vehicle, when your car breaks down, it will no longer scare you. You can deal with it. Similarly, in network marketing, as you build your level of expertise, then your fear of failure will diminish automatically. And equally, when you're communicating with other human beings, their fear of success or failure, their fear of change will diminish if they feel they're communicating with somebody who can bona fide give them credible leadership. 95, 99% of people on planet Earth right now are looking for a credible leader. They are frustrated. They are disenfranchised. They are absolutely sick and fed up of being sick and fed up. They're scared that interest rates are going to go up at some point and suddenly their mortgage payments are going to go through the roof and they're going to be up against it. They are looking for alternatives, but they're looking for credible alternatives. So you need to be able to promote yourself credibly. Now, within ISN, because we are practicing the hobby of kings, it's actually very simple because you literally, as you build your own collection as an avid collector, all you need to do is show your collection of coins to somebody. And it's amazing how they want what you've got. It is so important that you understand this. You know, I have trays and trays of silver now. For me, it was a fundamental, critical investment at the front end of my business that I knew was going to make me money anyway, because if I'm going to have samples of my product, what a great set of samples to have. Samples of solid silver certified collectible assets that are going to go up in value over the next five or 10 years are an integral part of my business. And all I do is open the case, show it to somebody, and whoa, bingo, wow, you see their eyes light up because they want it. We are in a, a telling business, not a selling business. Share your good fortune with somebody and offer them a guiding hand. And if you're credible and understand what you are talking about, they're going to follow you. Everybody out there is hurting. They're just looking for guidance. People are financially sick. The average household in this country, if it lost its primary income stream for three months, the house would probably be repossessed and families would be on the street. It's sad, but it is a fact. And we can change that by offering good mentorship. The process, remember, is simple. We're in marketing, so we've got to market our business. We've got to connect with people. We can connect with people lots of different ways. What's a great way after we've communicated with somebody is to ask them to go and complete a tour. Let the tools take people around an explanation of the business. Let them know that just for taking the tour, the company will send them a piece of silver. That's a great gesture. And the company will also put them in the drawer for a solid silver eagle. If they're interested, they'll take the tour. They're telling you then that they're open. 
And if they're open, then it's worth communicating with them. If you ask 100 people to take the tour, the 10 that do are the ones you need to be speaking to. Don't worry about the 90 who don't. They are just not ready yet. All right, use the tools. As I found to my cost, the better I am at talking to people, sometimes the slower I will progress. Because if I'm very good at speaking to people, so often people think, well, it's okay for him because he's good at speaking to people. People are always looking for reasons to fail rather than reasons to succeed. So if you can send somebody to a third party set of tools that explain the business for you so that the whole business becomes totally a numbers game, can you see the power in that? The key, obviously, is in the follow up. And that is all about then the ability to communicate with that person. And remember, when you're communicating with people, there's traditionally five things you cover. You cover the in industry, multi-level marketing. You cover the company, which is ISN. You cover the product, which for us is silver and gold. You cover the support system, the training, and you cover the money. And of those five things, the one that is the most important to the person you're talking about is always the support and the training. People are scared of success. They're scared of failure. They're scared of change. So when they're talking to you, they are looking at you, thinking to themselves, can this person really help me? Now, we never know where the right person is. But what we do know is that if we put lots of rods in the pond, whether it's business cards, cards in shop windows, whether it's attending networking events, whether it's having a dinner party with friends, letting them have a look at our silver and letting that natural interest flow through telling rather than selling, showing and sharing. Can you see it's just a process? Be always prospecting on purpose. A dinner party is a prospecting opportunity. A barbecue is a prospecting opportunity. Going to a wedding, I'm sorry, is a prospecting opportunity. If you're a professional network marketer, doing something you believe in and you know will be adding advantage and benefit to the people you're speaking with. Simple set of tools, the five marbles. As much as anything, just have emotional five marbles. If you can physically put five marbles or five something in one pocket each day you leave the house and you transfer them to the other pocket, left-hand pocket to right-hand pocket over the course of a day, then five people a day are being communicated with. The law of averages will work in your favor so long as the answer at the end of the day is not zero. You cannot build a business on zeros. Every one of those marbles goes from left pocket to right pocket, minimum, daily, five days a week. You do that, you have immediately lifted yourself from mediocre, not going anywhere, to exceptional six-figure earning capability. Absolutely guaranteed, because the majority of people will never, never accept that discipline. When somebody's been and, and they've looked at your site and they've maybe filled in the data capture page, uh, page, every time you communicate with somebody, you've got to document it. Every time you speak to somebody and, it, and you refer them to a site, then always book to, for the follow-up call. These little card index systems are great. You know, it's something I used 20 years ago. I've been trying to do it on scraps of paper and on on my outlook and it wasn't working so i've gone back to basics it's working really comfortably i'm far more efficient as a consequence and whenever i'm speaking to somebody now on the phone and i ask them to go and watch a video i'll say look the video is about 15 20 minutes go and watch that and look what time should i give you a call back or what's your skype address it would be great if we could get together on skype i'll connect with you what time would be good for us to have a face-to-face -face over Skype so I can deal with any questions you might have. So every time I'm communicating with a human being now, I'm being disciplined. I'm not just sending information and then forgetting about it. That just doesn't work. You just waste a whole lot of time. Every conversation, have less conversations. That's why five a day is good. Five a day is manageable, but make sure you manage your follow-ups. The fortune is in the follow-up.
if those people are actively looking for a business opportunity, there's every likelihood they could find somebody else's ad, go to that person's ad, that person is more efficient with follow-up, that person will sponsor them, but you did all the spade work to help them. Now, that's a bit silly. If you've done all of the spade work, make sure you are the one that follows up. If you need a little bit of support, speak to me, speak to someone in your upline, and let's get us together on a three-way Skype call. Remember, a six-figure income is about developing three, nine is 12, 27 is 39. Between that three, nine, that 12 and that 27 is a six-figure income, right? That's a six-figure income as you start to develop those people to gold and beyond. And that's a very simple process of us accepting the disciplines, us teaching the disciplines, us then acknowledging that we can't coerce somebody to do something. If we are coercing someone to join, we'll spend the whole of our life coercing them to do some work. Just sort the numbers, bring people, the right people, into the fraternity. The fraternity will teach and train them. Eric Warre will teach and train them. Robert T. Kiyosaki will teach and train them. Ruth Johnson will teach and train them. Peter Thompson will teach and train them. A whole lot of people other than you will teach and train them. But it's good that you're there as a powerful mentor and a credible leader. We've got this great tool abroad right now. I just wish that I had more hours in the day. Because to be able to offer a million dollar bonus or bounty to people in Europe, Australia, New Zealand right now is a phenomenal marketing tool. Because if ever there was an incentive on top of the best networking plan that there is on planet Earth with the best product that there ever has been in network marketing, to add on top of that a million dollar bounty, that's madness. And we've got everything we need. We've got some fantastic capture pages, all provided by my team duplication. We've got a phenomenal support infrastructure, which I think is second to none. Can we improve it? Yes, we can. And remember what I said, every day in every way, we'll get better and better and better. There's a lot going on over the course of the next couple of months. As you know, we're in the middle of a 90-day blitz. The 90-day blitz is about getting these Mercedes cars in the hands of people. We need Mercedes cars in this group. Let's get together as a team. Let's get plans in place. Let's work those plans together. Let's work the, the buddy system. We've got a meeting, as you know, coming up, interim to the 90-day Blitz event, which is going to be the end of May. We've got March the 15th, Hilton Northampton is a company-sponsored event. Um, I'm going to be going to that. I'd love some of you guys to come down there. What I'm really going to be focusing on there is getting as many people to Northampton as we possibly can. March the 29th, we're having our first mastermind here. We'll do these each month at the moment in the middle of the 90-day blitz. We'll do another one at the end of April. But March the 29th at the Crested Court. Now, that's very much going to be a, a, an interactive event. I want people sharing experiences, sharing, sharing knowledge. There's a load of people I know are going to be able to contribute to that. It's going to be pretty relaxed. We're going to make it social as well. We're having something to eat back at our, our house in the evening. If there's some of the younger guys, you know, who are perhaps struggling in terms of the hotel, by the way, I'm sure we can find a couple of beds here if anyone needs a bed for the night. So, look, this is all about people helping people. And we've got a phenomenal opportunity here with ISN. And I am not prepared to allow people not to succeed at the level they need to succeed. So that really is it. If you came along to this webinar today at the invite of a member of the team revolution here at ISN, please get back to that person. Your life is just beginning. Today is the first day of the rest of your life. Forget the past. Look to the future. Take action today. Get back on the phone to the person who invited you to the webinar. Get together with them. Get together with me. Let's put an action plan in place and let's take this where it deserves to be taken. Let's go to the top of the pile. Let's build a legacy for ourselves and our families. I wish you all a wonderful weekend. And I'll be speaking to you and seeing some of you next week down in Northampton. So obviously there won't be a webinar next Saturday. So have a wonderful week. I'll see you in Northampton. 
and hey, keep blitzing. Bye for now.